Hello, my name is Davide Moraski. I am a business intelligence professional and today I want to show you how to install the latest version of MicroStrategy Desktop. It's the, num the number 10. So we already downloaded the installer package. It's a 64-bit installer. So you can only install it on 64 bits operating systems. In my case, I am using Windows Server 2012. So the installation is really straightforward. We run the installer. This is a security warning of Windows. We click run and the install shield starts unpackaging the files. This is the welcome, welcome window. We click on next and in the license agreement, we click on accept and then start. Installation doesn't take very long. And if your machine is missing some key components like the .NET framework for example it will be installed automatically so we wait a little bit and then we will continue by opening the main interface and exploring trying to move our first steps into this software microstrategy desktop is a i believe a single user version of their flagship product which is the enterprise server it's been released lately i'm talking in June 2015 so it, the software will be out during this summer I believe you can contact your uh, account manager at MicroStrategy to get licenses pricing and more details so what is the the main the main improvement with this release is that they you they switched they switched the off the flash components and they uh, rewrote the entire visual discovery tools with html5 this is a great improvement I, I was not a big fan of the flash components but I recognize they they did their job but it was becoming more and more obsolete and with the new new technology with the mobiles and new devices it was difficult to run flash components so they decided to go the HTML5 way Okay, so the MicroStrategy install has finished. We launch now the desktop, click finish. And now it is loading. It will probably take a little more the first time. My, my machine is not that powerful it's a virtual machine with uh, four gigs of ram i believe and a couple of cpus yes a couple of cpus and four gigs of ram so when we open it for the first time we have this getting started page with a video you can watch the video you can see other tutorials you can open some prepared documents so we close this 
and we are faced with the new with this new interface this was the visual insight before this was called visual insight the the flash interface that I told you about and now it was completely redesigned you can hide the tips and you can start importing data so let's see if there is some sample data or we or we can run from public data from Hadoop from BI tools so there's a data software that's really that's really interesting net live to a database to Google BigQuery well I suggest a data source okay so we we installed this interface and in the next video we'll try to load for example an Excel data Thanks for watching and see you soon.